What's up guys, Logs here, and man, I have not done a commentary over gameplay like this in forever. I used to love watching commentaries and stuff, still do sometimes, but uh, I haven't done one in a while. But basically today, this is Battlefield 5 and I have a lot to talk about. It's going to be almost, it's going to be an 8 minute video, I can, I'm looking at it right now. And basically in the background I'm going to be playing the... Uh, game i just got this is the first time ever using the car 98 in this game this is the last sniper you unlock with the scout class um, this is my first game ever with it so i'm a little bit inaccurate so every sniper in this game is different um the bullet velocity and range and stuff is all different so this is stock car 98 no upgrades you there's basically when i say upgrades there's things in the game where you can personalize your weapons for a faster bolt you can do better scopes to make it you can do zoom uh, where the uh the bullets actually travel farther and faster and they have less bullet drop so this is standard just regular car 98 the first first game i ever got uh played with it so this is all stock and I actually drop over 50 kills which doesn't really sound like a lot but it, it really is because you know if you haven't played a battlefield game it's not like you know your normal shooter like it's it, right now I'm playing really you know like a sniper should play you know I'm sitting in the back I'm picking off people and that's because I'm, I'm used not used to this gun this is a new gun for me it's not my favorite gun um, but I'll get to that in a second, but basically I, I usually always play aggressive and I think if you are good at sniping, if you get the scout class down, if you are actually decent at it, um, it is probably the best class you could use and that's for any distance, any range, because I do rush towards the end and I actually still managed to get the close quarters kills and stuff and I'll go over all that, um, but I just want to make a claim that it is, I am playing on the Xbox One. Um, this is on console, so as you can see right there, I was 18 and 2. Um, I was doing pretty good. I was on a nice little streak. And I keep on running out of ammo, which is another thing in this game where you literally run out of ammo quick. Um, but there are ammo pl places like all over the map, just the little ammo boxes. And I, I do miss a little bit at these uh, distance shots because I don't have any upgrades on the sniper. It's just standard scope and no personalizations at all, no, no customized to make me uh, have longer distance or anything so I'm getting used to the uh, just basically getting used to the bullet drop with the gun first game using it um, and I just I'm pleased with it so this is not by any means my best game uh, my best game ever I dropped 105 kills on a 20 minute game of uh, I think it was operations or something and I unfortunately I didn't record it or anything um, but this is just me getting used to the gun in my first game on with it. So, yeah, I uh, I do enjoy the gun. Uh, I'll probably be using it more when I get customizations for it. I think I actually rank it up to level 4 in this one game, which uh, is crazy because it, it usually takes like 3 or 4 games just to rank up a gun. But I did pretty well with it. I'm pleased. Back to the scout class, though. I think it's the best class in the game, not only because I, you know, snipe with it and I love it um, but it has some of the best gadgets um, well actually just one of the best gadget which is the uh, spawn beacon or radio beacon I'm gonna be playing it right here basically it's a tactical insertion like called it you can literally plant it and you will spawn on it every single time and I use it so much just to you know get around my enemies and stuff and right now I'm about to get outplayed I see a guy and basically the whole team is outside and I just get fucked because I managed to kill him, go around, pop him twice, and ran out of ammo, and I'm pretty much dead from there. Um, but this spawn beacon is by far the best gadget in the game. Um, you can use it and your squads actually spawn in on it, so you can have yourself and the rest of your squad just flanking them the whole time that it's there. And look at this cheeky little headshot. Uh, I absolutely love the headshots in this game. It's it's a lot easier to get them. The hit detection is better um, in this game than previous battlefields, so it's easier to get headshots. And I just love it. Um, about the sniping, though, it is harder than Battlefield One. You can't just pick up the rifle and start using it. You had to get used to it. I it took me hours just to get used to the sensitivity and you know customize all my things. I have my uh, color set up where a gold like right you see right there is a headshot. Um, oh. Just a normal kill is going to be a white skull, 
And then every time I actually kill the person, the, the crosshair turns red. So as soon as I as soon as it turns red, like right there, I know he's dead. I can move on to the next player. Um, and I just customize all that and the cheeky little throwing knife. I love the throwing knife. Uh, I really hope it doesn't get nerfed that people talk about like it is. So. But <laughs> I really just love the game. And I hope everyone can appreciate content on it, even though if you don't like playing it or don't like watching Battlefield stuff, I understand because I'm normally a Call of Duty player. And look at that. Oh, throwing up to the leg. I'm normally a Call of Duty player, and that's what I upload, but uh, I thought I saw a guy right there, so that's why I threw a throw enough. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this Battlefield stuff. I know it's not for everyone. I actually get my first B2 rocket in this game, which is basically a big rocket that's supposed to kill. Look, Rank four already in one map. Rank rank up four times. Look at that no scope. Uh, I just pretty much put down all the kills. I'm I'm like 41 and 11 at that point, some crazy like that. Um, but yeah, I get a V2 rocket, and you're gonna see when I called in. It was extremely disappointing. This is my first one ever, and I was just so pissed off. And look at this, I c I could barely even see him. Um, but back to sniping on console. I really enjoy the sniping. It's it's not anywhere close to it like like it was in Battlefield One. It's hard because two shots to the body at least two shots to the body. Every sniper is a one shot headshot though, which is good because as you can see right there, you can if you're if you're good and accurate, you can use the scout class and go positive every single game. I, I guarantee you, um, I can go positive or. I can go. I can be in the top three every single match I play, just because I've gotten used to the scout and I slow it right down. Look at that! Just, just the brutalness, just the brutalness of the game. I love it. Um, but yeah, you can go positive if you get good at it. Took me a little bit. Um, I've yet to find. I've yet to go up against a sniper who, you know, is really better than me. And I know that sounds stupid. Here's the V1 rocket, by the way. Uh, it was so disappointing. My first one I ever called in and just just didn't do shit. Like you'll see at the end, it just doesn't do anything. Really pissed me off too because I worked so hard to get to get that and boom, nothing but points, no kills at all. Pissed me off. Um, but yeah, if you get good at the sniping and stuff, just watch some tutorials. There's a lot of guys who do really good scout tutorials. It's just a lot different than any game you will play, and I be aggressive. I'm really aggressive uh, most of the time. Not this game because you know I just unlocked the car, so I want to try it out. Um, but I'm usually really aggressive, and I go uh, positive almost every single game. And yeah, basically, uh, we're pretty much running out of time. But I go with like 52 and something. I, I got a lot of deaths towards the end. Uh, but yeah, this is my first Battlefield commentary have not done a commentary in a long time so this is all in one take really rusty edit uh, i didn't really know what to talk about for the most part but i think i'll get better if i keep doing them more so hopefully you guys support me in that but thank you i'm logs and i'll see you on the next one